Hi everyone, welcome back to the Gypsy Caravan. I'm Shan. How you doing? For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of my favorite drugstore uh, makeup products. I don't have a lot, unfortunately, because uh, for the longest time, I only had high-end high makeup in my kit, specifically, and would use bits and pieces here and there on myself. But I have decided that this is the year where I just use up my kit and use up my personal stuff as much as I can so that I can explore more drugstore brands. I am very particular about buying stuff these days. I don't want to just waste my money. I do have some drugstore products that I really, really like. So I do want to explore more drugstore brands this year. So I'm hoping that when I do try and recreate this video, maybe next year, that I'll have more stuff to show you. But for now, these are some of my favorite products that are definitely uh, worth the money and have been a repurchase. So let's get into it. I am going to just kind of start at the top and work my way down um, in terms of like the face. So I promise, I, I unfortunately I refuse to use anything other than my Paintly Paint Pot. That is just the eye primer for me. I will not budge on that. So unfortunately I don't have a drugstore product that I like. So if you have one that is really good, you can recommend it down below. But until then I am not budging on my Paint Pot that stays so I don't have an eye primer but going into eyeshadows I have used I have used a lot of eyeshadows and again I'm also very particular about what I use on my eyes um, because I have had certain reactions with certain things and brands so that's why I'm a little bit skeptical to buy and not use up the product I hate wasting lately so that's why one of my goals is to try and use up a lot of stuff that's in my kit and in my personal kit and just use up makeup I will say though, unfortunately it is a sad situation that Morphe is now done, Morphe is no longer, it is considered, not a drugstore brand, but it is a, considered an affordable makeup brand, um, so I was using a lot of their makeup, I have a lot of their products, um, so it is quite sad to see that happen, but I do have a makeup palette or a face palette that I bought like four years ago that I that I do really still enjoy using and that is the Love Contours All Palette by NYX. It is a face palette. Oh, if I can just get the damn thing open. Um, so it comes with nine eyeshadows, two like bronzing contouring shades, two different highlighters obviously to accommodate most skin tones and it also comes with two eyebrow shades. So I have been using this a lot when I go like on tours and things or when I'm out of town for like a couple of days and need to bring as little as possible this has been my go-to I may not talk about it a lot on my channel but um, well there's a lot of things that haven't made it to my channel but I do still like them and this face palette is one of them so in terms of eyeshadows that has been a go-to next eyeshadows are really nice they're easy to blend they are pigmented and easy to work with if you are a beginner in terms of eyeliners I really like the NYX ones. This is just a pencil one. They're really soft, really easy to work with. They work really well in my waterline. They don't irritate my eyes and they are very creamy. So it goes on very, quite easily in the waterline. And then also for a liquid liner, this is a local brand called Kiki Beauty. This is the Bionic Babe Wing It Babe Waterproof Eyeliner Pen. A liquid eyeliner she comes in all she has she has a lot of shades this is the first one I picked up which is yellow it is legitimately waterproof that eyeliner does not budge so um, if you're looking for a local based one that is that there are certain products where I am a bit iffy and I, I won't budge as much because I've probably tried it and just didn't like it um, and clearly a liquid eyeliner was one of them because 
my mac one just does the things for me so i don't think i'll be letting go of that one anytime soon but these are really great alternatives the pencils i will always 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 i will always use the nick pen the nyx pencils or the essence cajoles those are incredible those eyeliners are just you can't get any better than that they are just so creamy they go on smoothly they don't um pull on my eyelid or anything like that those are really great eyeliners so if you're looking definitely either a nyx eyeliner or an essence eyeliner so for mascaras this one is um this is another product that is not really well explored but i have tried a few mascaras uh in the past i will say that my favorite mascara primer is this l'oreal one it is the paradise primer ecstatic primer this is legitimately my fourth tube i keep repurchasing this because it's just amazing it plumps up my lashes it volumizes them it, con it coats and conditions them really well and i know i can go in with an eyelash curler after applying this and it won't or it has not damaged my lashes and it doesn't get stuck in the curler which I know is a bit of a touchy subject for makeup artists. You shouldn't be curling your lashes when there is something on it, but not with this. This has a really nice slip to it. The mascaras that I do tend to uh, go back and forth on or have used quite a bit is the I Heart Extreme Mascaras by Essence. I don't have one right now, but um, I have repurchased that probably about three, four times in the past. Mainly the mini ones because they're really great for when I am overseas and traveling and just, you know, don't need a big tube of mascara. Anyway, um, so that has come in and out of my channel a couple of times. Um, but yeah, that is also a really great mascara. Essence just in general has really good, good makeup. I do want to try the Maybelline mascaras. I've heard a lot of good things about them. So that's probably going to be my next drugstore purchase. Uh, brows for a very very long time i refused to budge on i just refused to use anything else if it wasn't um mac unfortunately i love their pencils they had the correct uh brow color for me their um brow gels were just everything to me you could not put me on another brow gel until now so i like the next one very very much you see this very often in my uh, videos and on my channel here it's the thicket stick it thickening brown mascara by NYX I still am a little bit iffy when it comes to pencils like I refuse to budge on my pencils the stylized pencil by MAC um, the eyebrows pencil in the shade stylized by MAC is the longest relationship I've ever been in other than married to my husband I refuse to budge on that pencil but when it comes to brow gels I think this one has actually replaced my MAC one, very much so. I have still yet to find a brand that does a brow marker like the Shape and Shade Tint by MAC. If, um, if I find a really good brow marker somewhere else, I might give it a go. Uh, also for the longest time, I wanted a brand to come out with something like the Sculpt Brow Pencils by MAC, which had a really unique like wedge. Uh, shape pencil I've yet to see a brand do a pencil like that that I'm aware of um, so if a brand has that let me know because that pencil to me was also just life um, you can tell my Mac brow products are my babies so I have the tinted one and then I also uh, have the clear one which is the the brow glue by NYX. This one is also really, really good. I found it these on TikTok through someone that I watched. I cannot remember who it was, but I saw them using this on their uh, account and I was just like, I need these. And so I bought and now I love them. And my Mac has not seen the light of day since. So these are really good brow products for your gel brow purposes. Okay, moving so waftly along onto false lashes because I feel like that's also um, a category that you can go into. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love my MAC lashes, but I have not worn them in the longest time because I have found my drugstore babies, if you know what I'm saying. So, Essence always for lashes, 
Essence lashes are really, really great. I really like their individual bundles. Um, I haven't tried this one on myself yet, but I tried something uh, similar to these by Essence. I think they were the magnetic ones. I can't remember because I lost them. But I used them on a client. And oh my gosh, these on a client? Boss. Really, really nice. They are light. They have a um, transparent spine, so you can't see them sitting in your lashes. And they are very manipulatable, if that's a word, when it comes to like uh, placing them on your eye and getting the lash to fit your customer's eye or your eye shape. So I really like these. And then I lost, whoops, I lost the case to these, but these are the Ardell Wispies in black. Oh my gosh, you've been, most of my makeup looks where I've been wearing lashes recently are these just because they're light. The band does not look invisible here, but because I had liner on them and I haven't cleaned them yet. The band is invisible. The, um, the lift is amazing. The curl's amazing. There's a slight wing to it. These are just... Like, where have I been? Is what I want to ask myself and I want to kick myself in the head because, like, I feel like I've been sleeping on these. I just, I don't know what to tell you. I feel stupid in this moment. Just admitting that now to everyone. For primer, there is only one primer. I have used a few. I have hated them all, but there is one that has just never let me down and has just been like a ride or die product for me. You probably already know what it is. The Spotlight Primer from Physicians Formula. I don't know what voodoo magic is in this, but this is just the most incredible primer. You can see it's empty. This is my third repurchase. If I buy another one, it will be my fourth. That's how much I love this stuff. Um, mainly just because I really like a like glowy finish in my skin and on my face so um, I'm not saying all the other primers I've been using that are glowy or that aren't glowy are bad I just did not like them but the other one that I tried that has supposed to be is supposedly supposed to have a glow to it uh, was just shite just absolute complete bleh. This has not let me down and has not done me wrong. Defos. Defos this. Other, whoops, let's just get it together. Another drugstore primer that I really enjoy using, which they just don't sell here anymore, unfortunately, uh, is the Magic Lumi Primer by L'Oreal. I will leave a photo up here for you. I have used it before on my channel. Uh, every time I go to the States, I repurchase it because that's the only place I can find it, which I will be doing this tour. Yes, coming up, I am repurchasing because, oh my gosh, that stuff for a drugstore pearlescent finish is just amazing. The next category is quite a big one because I am psychotic. I don't know. Um... The one thing I will say is that drugstore foundations, I've got a hair, drugstore foundations are just so good these days. Um, I haven't really touched a high-end foundation in quite some time now. I mean, like, I'll use it every now and then on my channel, but, like, personally, if I'm going out, if I'm on tour, if I'm going to do a freelance or whatever 90% of the time I'll be wearing a drugstore foundation because they are just that good these days and I'm really impressed also with me being quite the skin girly in terms of like my favorite thing to do is skin I'm really good at doing skin um, and like most of the time when I do look at products online when I'm online shopping or when I go to makeup stores like the two things I run for is either the primers or a foundation. I am just that person. So I have a lot of drugstore foundations that I really enjoy. Starting with the Revlon Candid. I have spoken about this a lot on my channel. I rave about this a lot. This is a third time repurchase. Like this one's brand new. You can see I haven't used it. The cap is still clean. 
this is my third one it is just insane I have a um a whole spiel on my Instagram page just about this uh, foundation I think I even mentioned it in my favorites foundations video I think I can't remember I'm sure I did though because I just love this that much being in hot with its cousin or stepsister or sister or brother or whatever it is it's the glow candid it is exactly the same as the candid foundation this one just has a luminous finish to it just has a slightly more glowy finish and it is a little bit more sheer but still a favorite of mine these are not in the country unfortunately i bought this overseas but it's still a drugstore brand and i still love it and it's very blonde okay the next one this is relatively new but I cannot seem to put it down. It's just that good. And this is the True Skin by Catrice. Oh my gosh. I don't know what this is made of. But it's made out of pure geniusness. It covers without feeling heavy. It's hydrating. It smells good. It works really well with either a brush, a sponge or your hands. This is just amazing. This stuff is incredible. So if you're looking for a really good, hydrating, long-wearing foundation, definitely try this one by Catrice. I'm sorry, I know I'm mentioning um, a lot of products that might not be in the country anymore, but there is still online shopping uh, if you're keen. This is by the brand Bourgeois. This used to be in the country because we used to have an end cap in Diskim. I distinctly remember this being in uh, clicks as well. It's called Bourgeois and this is the Healthy Mix Foundation. Again, I don't know what this is made of, but this is literally bulletproof. It's the foundation I'm wearing today. Um, when I say bulletproof, I wore this to a New Year's Eve like thing with my family and I was bawling my eyes out that night for reasons and it didn't streak it didn't move i literally just patted my eye dry from my tears and this did not move i don't know what this is made of or what is in here but oh my gosh what an incredible foundation you need this even if you have to do online shopping or source it out somewhere i don't care where you get it but get your hands on this this is liquid gold so moving on to concealers, I'm also very finicky about the um, type of concealers I use. So um, I've only really tried two and of the two, the one stuck and that is, you can see, it's stuck. This is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Concealer. This stuff is just also so good, it doesn't crease. Uh, it's very hydrating and creamy on the eyes. It covers blemishes really well. It covers up discoloration really well. And it is lightweight in my opinion. Um, it blends out easy with a brush or a sponge or your fingers. It's just, this is really, really nice. And I think it is time I repurchase a new one because it's on its way out, obviously. But this is definitely something I will consider repurchasing in the near future because this stuff is really good it i would almost go as far as to say it has replaced my studio fix smoothwear concealer by mac because the formulas are very very similar very very similar um but this one's just a little bit more affordable so this one i think this one's gonna stay i have had one bottle of water today and that is not okay I need to get going. I am not a powder wearer or user at all. I hardly wear powder. Let's just say that. But I was desperate last year and in a pinch and needed a powder and I refused to buy anything that has a tint in it other than my Studio Fix powder because that I will not replace. That is my go-to baby when it comes to a powder foundation or just powder in general um so yeah but i bought this on a whim and ended up falling in love with it to the point where it's replaced my mac translucent powder mm -hmm. yeah so this is the infallible i'm reading the wrong side as if i know what's going on 
the Infallible Pro Sweep and Lock Translucent Setting Powder. It's basically just a white loose powder. I prefer loose powders over pressed. And then Shimmer Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. Then that's a different story. But this is so nice. It smooths out the eye area. It doesn't crease. It doesn't crepe. It's not a drying sort of powder, if that makes any sense. Because I hate powders that are actually drying. And even though I set my face with this, it still allows a little bit of the glow, like that natural glow that is in my skin, to like peek through. The only thing I do not like about this for some reason is that it's very similarly packaged as my uh, Prep and Prime Translucent Powder by MAC, but for some reason this one still makes more mess than the MAC one. I don't know what it is, but any time I open up my MAC one, I don't have any fallout, I don't have powder on the side, I don't open it and it's just flour all over the place. I don't have that, but with this, oh my gosh, like I'm so scared to open this because I just know, like you can already see this bits, well you can't really see, but I can see it, it's like it's snowing. I get nervous to open this, so I try and like flatten it as much as I can and then put down like a tissue and then open it because she's messy. So I don't have a specifically a contour product, but I do have bronzers that are my favorite. If you've been here, you already know what's coming up. The butter bronzer, okay. This is, this is incredible. I know this went viral on YouTube a while ago with all the influencers and that's literally what made me buy it. But it was literally love at first use. The first time I used it, I'm like, where has this been? Why have I not used this before? Why am I using crap from other brands when this has just been everything to me? Um, so yeah, so this will definitely be a repurchase. I have, this is my first one, but I am about to run through it quite quickly. Um, so I'll definitely be repurchasing this because, oh my gosh, I've never had a bronzer that just goes on so smoothly on the skin, blends out like literal butter, and also smells amazing. It has the most incredible tropical coconut smell ever. And I know a lot of people aren't really familiar with the brand Physicians Formula, but it is slept on brand. I'm not joking. Physicians Formula has some really good products. I have also tried their skincare stuff before, and that was also decent. Um, not bad for a drugstore brand. Um, but oh my gosh, I feel like this is a really slept on brand. It's really, really good. And it most of their products contain argan oil. So it is kind of driven towards the um, dry combination skin girlies out there. But seriously, like give them a try. They're really, really good. This was a viral product for like 2018. But it still has chokehold on me. And I am not going to let this go. It's just one of those things. Which I like. Okay, the next bronzer is by Bourjois. Again, I'm really sorry, but like online shopping. This is called um, something in French because I don't speak French. But it says they're bronzing powder filled with glints of sunshine. And it literally looks like a chocolate bar. So I think it's called the Bourjois chocolate bar. It smells like chocolate because it contains cocoa powder. Mm -hmm. I just like it because it comes in like this little book thing. I normally, this is a new one. As you can see, it's a repurchase. <laughs> I've had two of these already. Um, I saw this. It was either Sam or Nicola Chapman from the Pixie Woo channel back in the day. The woman who endorsed and have created the Real Techniques brushes. Those women there. Those makeup artists. One of them used it. And I'm like, I have to have that. And then when they were getting rid of Bourjois in Clicks and Discam, they were having a clearance sale. And guess who bought three of them? Two of them. My, my apologies. So the first one's gone because I use that on tour all the time. Just because it's really sleek, thin. The color is really nice. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. So it really and truly is just a great bronzing shade for my skin tone because I am white af so this is just really great it even though it says it's got glints of sunshine in it it does have a sparkle you don't actually see that on the skin that kind of dissip dissipates 
when you blend it out but oh my gosh what a beautiful color blends out so easily uh you can use it with a dance brush or like a really fluffy brush and you still get like really good color payoff it's just such a good bronzer and it smells like chocolate i am a chocolate fanatic like this was made for me in terms of blushes i am not a big blush wearer I have blush products, but that's because I used to work for MAC, so most of my blush products are MAC. Um, uh, I don't know if I would try a drugstore blush, just not because it's drugstore, just because I don't wear blush a lot, and I don't want to buy a product that I know I'm not going to use. So I don't have any blush products for you, but I do have highlighters. Oh. Like, I've completely forgot this product. This is the Sir John and W Beauty Cream Color Palette. Basically, it's a palette filled with cream color bases. If you don't know what that is, it's made of cream. Uh, you can use it for anything. You can use it for, like, blush, highlighting. I literally have these three shades on my eyes today. I haven't got any eyeshadow on. I've literally just got these cream products. Uh, this is, um, what do I want to say? Uh, an extremely versatile palette when it comes to like your blushes, your highlights, your whatever. You guys have probably seen this shade all over my channel because I use it as a highlighter. I use it as an eyeshadow topper. I use it on my lips. I absolutely adore this pan right here. You can see it's disgusting but um i've dabbled in the other shades i use this quite a lot on my darker clients for like um an underpainting blush sort of situation and because they cream they are so easy to work with they are super blendable um they some of them do have like quite a chunky glitter in like as you can see i have like glitter reflex in my eyes that was this one here um but that's okay you can use it for you can use it for blush for like eyes, you can use like cream color bases, you can use for a multitude of things. Uh, like I said, I use this a lot for highlighting and for like an eye topper. You have seen this quite often on my channel. I don't know if this is actually still sold or if it's still around. I actually was gifted this from a friend, so I don't know. But it's the Sir John and the Woolworths Beauty range or collection i guess okay so like i said i have um some highlighters or what, what was i talking about blush okay well i have highlighters okay i don't have powder highlighters because i've yet to find one that i am actually happy with i'm very finicky when it comes to certain things and a powder highlighter for me needs to have this kind of effect so this is the it's two products the powder topper that i have on here is from the nyx love contours all palette I will show you it again just to give you an idea I'm using well I'm wearing the golder one because that one's a little too light for me at the moment but I am wearing a powder highlighter from this palette because I insisted on wearing all my drugstore brand products today just to show you like what it looks like on um, but I do love this liquid highlighter it is by makeup revolution the liquid highlighter if you've been around for a while, I wouldn't say on my channel because my channel's fairly-ish new, but like uh, BC 2020, before COVID, a lot of the time on my Instagram page, I would post about the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops, um, and that is a little too pricey and expensive for me, even though I love the crap out of that product, it's just like a touch too expensive for me to repurchase right now and someone said to me this is an exact dupe it is an exact dupe it's what i'm wearing on my face now um it's underneath the powder highlighter um but yeah it's a liquid highlighter it's the same like dropper system as the cover fx ones and i will say very close dupe i will i will also just mention though that the cover fx ones are more metallic this has a slight, a slight glitter in it, which I don't like. I do prefer the more metallic, smooth-ish finish. This looks a little gritty on my skin, but I normally 
wore any of them either one of them I normally wore it underneath my foundations which cover up the fact that this has the glitter in it in any case so uh, it doesn't really matter it's really good it's replaced an expensive product that I just cannot repurchase right now and it's doing good it's doing well I like it I'm gonna keep it other one that you have probably seen on my channel is by Ciate it is the dewy stick it's in the shade glow but please tell me how that's a color it's literally transparent I did um, a little like review or like spiel about it on my Instagram page if you want to go look at that or on my TikTok I think there's one on my TikTok as well it is basically just oil in a stick so if you like that really glowy sweaty post-workout kind of glow girl this is the product for you do you remember I think Mac still does it but do you remember when Mac did the I actually have one do you remember when Mac came out with these so they have a pore refining one. This is the, what are you, what are you, what are you? The Prep and Prime Essential Oil Stick. It's basically oil in a stick. Okay, it looks a little manky. Smells like straight up oil. This was my ride or die product at MAC when they launched these. I wore the shit out of this stick every single day, under foundations, over foundations, under powders, I forced it on top of a powder like it was just my new thing because the essential oils sometimes I would just overuse it and then my skin would just get really really oily when all I wanted was just this kind of like glow this is a dupe for that it is literally the exact same thing in my opinion the only difference is, is that this one feels a little bit more lightweight and it's less sticky so this one when you warm it up just blends into the skin really well where I feel like the prep and prime uh, essential oil stick is sticky and sits on top of the skin which I don't like now that I've been using this one I kind of can see the difference so I'm just like I kind of prefer my Ciate one and it has no color not that that one has color just it doesn't have color so if you are looking for that kind of glow underneath your foundation, on top of your foundation for like this really nice ethereal sweaty ass glow, this for all I know could actually just be me sweating, then you definitely need this. Um, I use it as a highlighter. It's not technically labeled or suggestive of being a highlighter, but I use it on the high points of my face to give me that glow in natural lighting. You know? So the last thing is technically lip products. I own a lot of drugstore lip products, but the ones that I do are just insane. Um, so I have a lot of the NYX suede cream lipsticks. I would show you, but they're all in a palette because I decant all my lipsticks. So I can be like, here, this shade, and it will mean nothing to you. So I'm going to stick a photo up here for you so that you can see what the actual packaging looks like and go and get for yourself. Those lipsticks are really, really nice. They're, excuse me, they're long wearing, long lasting. They don't bleed, they don't budge, they're not patchy. One swipe pigment, it's just beautiful. And then I also like the Liquid Suede by NYX. Um, I have all the weird funky colors. I don't actually have any of the normal colors. But this is incredible. It's a long wearing liquid lipstick. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't feather, it dries down really nicely. It doesn't get crusty on the lips like certain liquid lipsticks because you know, that's the connotation around a liquid lipstick. These are kind of matte-ish, but not matte to the point where they're like drying, dry ass, crusty matte lipsticks. They're still like really smooth and buttery and comforting on the lips. Um, well, the shade I've picked up here is Stone Fox, I think. Yep, Stone Fox. I have other shades. But that's the first one I could dig up. Um, and then obviously I have the bullets. In terms of lip glosses, I'm not really a lip gloss wearer. I have a crap load of lip glosses. But it's a lot of, a lot of the lip glosses I do have are like lip creams. Or like the vinyl lipsticks that I bought from MAC because those things also just had a, a whole ass choke hold on me but um a lot of the lip glosses i do have in my kit are testers samples 
uh, leftover products from collections that we just got as gratis from MAC. So a lot of my lip glosses are MAC, unfortunately. But I will put you on something if you love lip oils. Lip oils are trending at the moment. A lot of brands are doing these lip oil things. This one is from Revlon. It's in the shade Bouncing Beige. I went for something neutral so I could wear it alone. Under lipstick, over lipstick, mixed in stuff. It doesn't really matter. Um, these things are so cozy and comfortable to wear. Uh, the only thing I can actually reference it to, if you remember, is when MAC did Huggable lip glosses. If you remember those, very, very similar. It's very similar to the lip oil at Dior. Very close to that as well, if you're familiar with that as a reference. Or uh, the Skin Protectant Cream, 8 Hour Skin Protector by Estee Lauder. Very similar texture, just this one, or consistency rather. Very, very close. The only difference is that this one is slightly thinner, so it's definitely more lightweight. But oh my gosh, what like this? I walked past this in Discam and I thought, mm, let's give it a go and have not put it down since. Like this is. I take this on tour with me, this goes into my handbag, it's replaced my chapstick which is a shame because I absolutely adore the Burt's Bees uh, lip balm. This has replaced it even though it's not really like a lip conditioning product in terms of like a chapstick, it feels good on my lips, it keeps them hydrated, it has a glossy finish like I am just going to put it on for you right now so that you can see because it's just so beautiful. And it smells really, really good too. Like it just has the most amazing shine. It's not sticky. It feels good. I just, it feels like my lips are in a hug right now. It feels like they're getting a hug. So that completes this video. And I'm going to hold myself accountable to do more drugstore products this year. If I can, because I'm also in this space where for 2023, I am trying to save money. So I'm being very cautious about what I buy. I'm not going to buy doubles anymore because I went through my kit the other day. Just side note. I went through my kit the other day and the amount of olivey green eyeshadows I have. I have six. From different brands. I have the same eyeshadow six times. Like that's a bit wasteful if you ask me. So I'm just being more conscious with my purchases these year, uh, this year. I'm doing extensive research. I don't want to just buy because it's the new hype at the moment. Like I need to seriously be like, wow, oh my gosh, definitely need that. I definitely don't have something like that in my kit or in my personal makeup things. I need that in my life. Like that's the point where I am right now. My kit is, is bursting. Anyway, thank you for that side note and my story. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Follow me on social media. Like, comment, uh, share this video. Leave your recommendations down below for products that I should look at or try or that you think is really good. I'd be super keen to hear about that. Yes. Thank you so much and don't forget whenever you can to refer the Gypsy Caravan. Bye.